One of the most interesting findings in neuroscience in the past 75 years is that pleasure and pain are co-located, which means the same parts of our brain that process pleasure also process pain, and they work like opposite sides of a balance. So when we do something that's rewarding or reinforcing or pleasurable, our balance tips slightly to the side of pleasure. We get a little release of dopamine, the pleasure neurotransmitter in that part of our brain, our reward pathway, and we feel good. But the thing about that balance is that it wants to remain level, and, it, and the brain will work very hard to restore a level balance, or what's called homeostasis. And it does that by tipping the brain an equal and opposite amount to the side of pain. So again, the way the balance restores homeostasis is to tip to the opposite side. That's the come down after using that moment of wanting to do it again, the hangover, if we wait long enough, that feeling passes and balance is restored. But if we don't wait and we continue to use our drug again and again, we end up with a balance that's essentially weighted to the side of pain. And I imagine that like these little neuroadaptation gremlins hopping on the pain side of the balance. Not very scientific, I know. But the point is that with repeated use, we get enough gremlins on the pain side of the balance to fill this whole room. And then we're essentially working from a dopamine deficit state. We've downregulated our own dopamine. We've downregulated our own dopamine transmission. And those gremlins like it on the balance. So they don't get off after the hangover is over or the acute withdrawal. They can persist there for weeks to months to years, which is why people with addiction, even when their lives have become so much better, will relapse because they're not walking around with a level pleasure-pain balance 